Okay, y'all think you're so smart in the comments. A uh, yesterday's vlog. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep saying pizza pops are just pizza rolls. I google pizza rolls. This is what comes up. These little tiny ass pizza things. That's not what a pizza pop is. These are pizza pops. They're big. They're like the size of your hand. They're big thingies. And I know there are similar pizza filled dough things available like pizza pockets and whatnot, but it's not the same because they're all made by different companies and so they have different tastes. Pizza pops are the best. Just the dough is amazing. These little tiny ass things are not pizza pops. Also, as it says right here, pizza pops are available only in Canada. I wasn't lying. So all y'all who think you have pizza pops down in the States, you're wrong. The closest comparison I could give you to a pizza pop is a calzone, but not all calzones are gonna taste the same. And pizza pops just have such a unique dough. I don't know how to explain it. It's not like any other pizza product out there. It's just so delicious. It's probably because it's super fatty or something. <laughs> but it's so much different than any dough I've had on any other pizza product. It's just, it's delicious. All right, now that I'm done ranting. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh dear. Oh there. Okay, okay. Let's go eat some pizza pops. Just kidding, we don't have any. <laughs> I'm gonna make a quick run to the bank and to PetSmart. I have some money and checks to bring to the bank and then I wanna go to PetSmart for more cat food. I checked the mail before leaving and there's a missed delivery. I was here, I even heard the mailman come to the steps but he didn't ring the doorbell so I was like, well, I guess he's not, I guess there's no parcel, probably just dropping off mail. <laughs> ah! Then there's also a letter from the CRA. Man, they've been sending me these weekly. They always after my money. So there was a change with me potentially needing that GST account. I talked about it a whole bunch. It's basically for charging sales tax when you make sales in a store, that kind of thing. About a week and a half ago, I was told I did not need it but then I got a call back saying I do need it, like I need the account, but I still don't need to pay GST, but I just need to have the account. So I'm like, okay, so I guess that's what this is about. What is this? Now there's something from the bank, important tax information is required. Wah! <laughs> Leave me alone, government. We are writing today to inform you that changes have been made to the Canadian Income Tax Act requiring the bank to provide information about customers who have a tax residence in other countries to the CRA. I don't really know. Please provide all countries of residence for tax purposes within 60 days by completing the enclosed self-certification form and mail it with the cover page or call us at the number below. This is stupid because I only file as a Canadian. I don't have any other residence for tax purposes. It's annoying when there's stuff that doesn't apply to you, but you have to prove that it doesn't apply to you. I just paper cut my lip while licking the envelope. The government is out to get my lip. Okay, I'm done at the bank. Oh, oh attack of the big cart. I'm done at the bank and now I'm going to pet smart. I'm gonna look for some new food for the cats because I wanna get them some weight control stuff that I can start mixing into their existing food. This is what they usually get, is this kind. For the dry food anyway. For fat bibis. All right, we're all set. So remember how around mid-February I mentioned how I had 180 vlogs demonetized. I think my count was off based on how zoomed in I was on a certain page, or maybe I was counting on the last page to see how many videos there were per page. I don't know why. I thought there was 18 videos per page and I had 10 pages of videos to sift through. So I was like, okay, 180. And then later on, I had 12 pages of videos. And I was like, what the heck? This I just discovered like a week ago or so that I had another two pages of videos demonetized, but I was just looking at it and I'm counting on like the regular pages. There are 30 videos per page. So I have 11 full pages with 30 videos each and then I have 18 on the last page. So that makes 348 vlogs that are demonetized. So I think my initial count was off, but then there were additional ones that got demonetized after the fact. So that's great, 348 demonetized vlogs. Why? 
almost none of them have been overturned. The only ones that they took a look at were the ones that were the more recent vlogs because it does say you need to have a thousand views within the past seven days. And these videos have more than a thousand views total, but not a thousand views in the last seven days. And so they're not being looked at. Only the newer ones that were still getting views met that criteria. And I know some of you said that you have had videos that got looked at even though they didn't meet that threshold. So I, I am still appealing all of these anyway, just to see if maybe they'll get remonetized down the line. I don't know, but so far they're just kind of stuck in limbo. So I just went through and requested a review on a ton more videos, probably like 50. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how that goes. Probably nothing's gonna happen. Now I'm going to do some research and planning for my next art video, at least with my vlog channel. Most of these videos are old because I'm posting almost daily and so content quickly becomes old and vlogs aren't as evergreen as my art channel content. Art videos are pretty much good to watch even if they're years old, whereas with vlogs not as many people go back and watch the old ones because the stuff that I was doing is kind of irrelevant now. So with my art channel I rely so much on my older videos, whereas with the vlogs more of the views come from the newer videos. There's still a lot of people watching the old stuff and discovering the old stuff just randomly recommended to them, but I feel like the the newer videos are more important for the vlog channel. So that's that's the plus side. Even though a quarter of my videos are now demonetized, it's not really affecting me. I mean, I don't know the total amount of views that those 348 videos are getting, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not overly concerned about it. It's just annoying. <laughs> Poor Kiki, she came back and tried to sit, but there is no room. No. Little Minouche wants some attention. Oh, yes. Oh, my mushy mush. Oh, my mushy mush. Oh, boobily bubble boo. Boobily bubble boo. Poor Kiki. Boo. <laughs> Did you give up already? Poor Kiki, she tried. There's not enough room here, is there? Midnight, you're slowly getting sucked under the desk. <laughs> Are you slipping? Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Hoist. There we go. Poor Kiki. She came over and Mina attack. So I now know what my video was going to be, but I still have to plan what exactly the art's gonna be like. Although I do have a pretty good idea, but I need to start sketching and getting it down on paper to refine the idea. But, mommy needs supper. Boo boo. I'm gonna have to kick you off. I love the cuddles, but I'm hungry. I'm a bear. I'm a bear. And then poor little Kiki's in the basket. Poor baby, she tried to come over a few times to cuddle, but she couldn't find a spot. Here's a bit of a sneak peek, and this. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over to the iPad for the actual sketch. I feel like I should do digital sketching more often, even if I plan on doing the rest of the art traditionally, just because it's easier to fix mistakes, and I think it's easier to see them, it's easier to zoom out, flip canvas, all that good stuff. Although that is stuff you can do with your phone. If you're drawing something traditionally, take a picture with your phone to one, see it from afar, and looking in the camera viewfinder helps if you're filming it, but two, you could also flip the picture on your phone. There's little tricks like that, but I would rather not do that, I guess, because I don't do that. <laughs> it's just so easy to move things around digitally or you realize one character's too big or just the head's too big. It's so easy to fix it without having to redraw everything, so I probably should incorporate more digital sketching. <laughs> Oh god, this sweater is nasty. I switched over from the one I was wearing before, but this one just attracts so much cat hair. It's noticeable because it's black, but it also just attracts so much of it. <laughs> Got the baby. <laughs> Look, it gets over there. On the chair. Usually you cuddle with Daddy. She wants part two of the computer cuddles. Where is my iPad gonna go? <laughs> you look so sad. Trying to attack the camera cord. Are you ready to draw? 
for years. This is baby. What was that? <laughs> I can't help it if I look sad all the time. That's just my thing. <laughs> she says, I'm sad because I'm on weight loss food now. No, you were loving it. I saw you sniffing it and eating it. Ah! Clutching my finger. Whoa. So I'm done the sketch, so the picture is pretty much all ready to work on for tomorrow. And uh, I'm liking how it's turning out. It's cute. It's kind of based off children's books and just picture books in general so it's gonna be cute it's gonna be cute as long as i don't screw it up but we're all going to bed now so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow we're playing oh. sociables right now but we're going to play drinkopoly i can't decide which to use because they're both pink so i've been asking twitter so far reese is winning which is what i was leaning towards anyway boring it's pink hair christianity <laughs> This game is too inappropriate.